Guys, Troy ATXRC Productions 3DR Solo Owners and Productions Group. That's www.facebook.com slash 3DR Solo Group. Go over there. Uh, join our group. We're going to give away a battery of 500 users. Uh, brand new free smart battery sealed in the box. Everything. Just random user. I uh, got to participate and be a user though. Uh, we got Solo on the on the bench here. Look, I'm still on the fence about it. I'm putting all my time on my not, my 10-day vacation here before I start my new job. I'm trying to figure out if I'm going to keep it and what I'm going to do. Flying this thing every time makes me just smile, and it makes me love flying it. It's still the footage at the end of the day that I'm having issues with. I just post, pick, posted some video about 5.4, 4.35. Uh, bottom line is I'm, I'm still kind of working on this. But I want to talk to 3DR about some stuff about getting some fixes, man. Uh, I know you guys got a firmware update coming, and I swear I hope some of this stuff is in there. One, RTH on low battery is causing major issues. It makes me freak out when I hit 25%. I don't know what caused y'all to change the way that the warnings and everything are. I like the verbal warnings, and I like the sounds and the haptics. Um, but warning me at 25% is, first of all, it's just too high. Drop that to like 18% probably. Um, I don't know who was having issues with voltage. I'd never really seen too much of that before. Uh, but it's forcing us to basically get really worrisome towards the end of our flights. And it's I'm losing flight time and I'm losing shots. And it's causing me to panic sometimes and kind of have to come home, you know, because I'm so aware of my surroundings and everything. So, um you know, once it hits the RTH level, and I, I don't want to speak to percentages because it seems like it's a little different, but in that 10% range, um, and it decides to come home on its own and it forces it, I, I don't know why, but I cannot get it to, to let me adjust the landing at all. I've tried thrust. I've tried, you know, everything. Punched out. I've tried pause. I've tried fly. I've tried everything. Can't get it. Um, it auto automatically lands just wherever the hell it wants to land, and it's scary. Um, every once in a while I have, if the battery power is high enough, like in the 10 to 12 range, it will let you kind of gain control for a little bit. But the problem is, is it doesn't recognize you're coming home. So I don't know what you could do other than if you get a battery warning and I push the home button within three seconds, it, let's just say five seconds, it should trigger and tell solo that I'm sending it home. It should start coming home, allow me to break free, but still know that it's heading home by where it's going. I don't know how that would be done, but that's something that needs to be done because what's happening is I get it almost home and the flight home is so long that it takes control. I've gotten it so far home and landed within five to 10 inches off the ground and it take control and want to pop back up and I have to fight it to land it. That's not something unexperienced pilots are going to be comfortable with, and it's going to cause some problems, um, especially if you have your RTH set at 300 because of I'm flying around large stuff, and I brought it home, and I'm safely landing it, and all of a sudden it shoots up to 300. We could have some major issues. So um, please, allow us more control over breaking free of it, and basically just, I mean, I think that you just need to like a 3%. If it gets to whatever, like 2% above whatever makes this thing fall out of the air, make it land, auto land, like fast and in a hurry right then and there. I mean, that's the only thing I could think of, but this in between and being way too, you know, set way too high the threshold and then me having to come home but not having enough time to get home because it just drains and it gets out, of, it, it's causing problems. That actually even caused me a problem today where I had a ghost flip or whatever, a bunny hop where this has to be fixed. What is causing Solo to want to flip over? It's really slow the way that it happens too. And it's like, I was returning home because of a low battery. I was trying to hurry up and I had some people approaching on a sidewalk and it was a slight unevenness, but I had landed there five, six times earlier. No problem. But it was a little uneven. It was solid concrete. So you'll see, here's the video. As I land and I'm coming in really hot and heavy or hot and fast because of the people approaching, I want to hurry up and land and don't want any problems. I kind of touch down hard and it kind of does a little bunny hop. It then shuts the motors down as I'm holding down on the stick. And then literally in my mind, I go, it's going to restart. And it did. It restarted the motors and then very slowly took off and then flipped over. I mean, the whole time I'm trying to fight it and the whole time I actually hit. As soon as it, it started to bounce and it started to start the motors, I hit A, B, pause nothing worked because I was doing it so fast because it happens so oddly slow. I mean, it's, it's like you see it happening. It's like a bad car wreck. And you're like, no, no, flip, AB pause. AB pause again. It was the, uh, 
forty dollars with the props. So come on, man. What are y'all gonna? What are we gonna do to get Solo to not think it's upside down or not want to go upside down? Please, that is dangerous. I um, last little bit. Wi-Fi host AP whatever APF file ASD whatever it is. The host the Wi-Fi mod that you can do for Solo to open up Wi-Fi channels. Do it and do it now. Again, my previous review of this, I know what I said, and I still stick by it. For the dollar bills that I'm paying, and for me going buy three components off the shelf, a GoPro Hero Black, a Solo Copter, and a gimbal, for that amount of money, I'm not happy. I would not recommend you do it unless you just have that kind of money to burn, and, and you're going to have fun flying it, but you don't care about the post and all that and editing. You just want you know, want to fly, really. And again, in essence, just go buy the Copter, man. That shit's fun. Um, that's cool. I stand by that. I don't know. The host APD file, if you mod that, it gives you a lot more range and it feels it feels a lot more confident and I feel more comfortable flying this thing. I went and flew some areas that I typically wouldn't fly as far as, as in in certain areas as far. Um, I flew fine. 1,800 feet down near downtown, I wasn't any problem. I wasn't in downtown, I wasn't around the buildings, I'm just saying. Um, I normally would get about 800 feet on that range. Um, got 1800 so host APD file Ian Hudson did a great video on this go check out his YouTube subscribe he does all kinds of really cool stuff with it um, I'm not gonna show you guys how to do it I will put the link in the description to his video go do it go do it go do it it'll take you about 20 minutes if you really just follow step by step download all this stuff just do it it's not hard do it the new update is supposed to do this for you but I don't care do it do it do it do it today go fly all right that's all, guys. Hope you guys have fun. Hope you guys got some insight onto me bumbling around on how I do my hero stuff or why I'm doing what I'm doing. Um, I will make a decision on this thing. I got about eh, 10 more days before I got to make a real decision on keeping it or not. Um, Multi-GP races, that's going to be the deciding factor. How that project comes out, if I can get Solo to be my mainstay for filming Multi-GP, that just might be what I go start doing. Um, it's a lot of fun, and I love editing that footage, and I love flying it too. So have fun. Fly safe, fly smart, fly 3DR, fly FPV, fly DJI, fly unique. Just fly. <laughs>